Hi. Um, so, Gina, you requested a video of um, how me and Rob met. Um, I'll do that for you because he can't be here. He's been busy at work. He's on night shift. Um, so, I'm going to tell you the story about it, okay? Firstly, I am naked because it's like 99 degrees hot outside. It's boiling. And I know I'm over-exaggerating, by the way, but it is hot. Uh, it's actually Britain's summer and we've actually got we've, a, we've actually had it now three days and it's like roasting So I've got nothing on as you can see and I'm not going to show you anything I'm just going to sit here like this. I, oh, hello Posey um, You see my phone's that good. I can switch it around so I can see myself <laughs> So yeah, Pose Hello Chichi Oh, hello. Give him a kisses Come on. Come on. Give me kisses. Come on then Posey, what's that? Who's that there? Is that you? Can you see yourself? Ah. So, yeah, she's not supposed to be on the bed, but I'll let her on tonight, just um, while I do this video. But she sleeps over there. Uh, she, she thinks so. Anyway, look. She's going to get comfy now and lay down. There you go. <laughs> right, so. Yeah, as I'm saying, it, it's red hot outside. Uh, so, yeah. So the story about how I met Rob, um, I was actually working for the football ground, um, which would be soccer to you, uh, the ones with the round ball, not the rug, the oval shape, that's football to you, I think, we call that rugby. So you call soccer to me football, and I call football soccer. No? Other way? I, I confused myself? Right. The round ball is soccer, yeah, to you. To me, it's football. And football to you, with the oval-shaped ball, to me, is rugby. Right. Okay. So I was working for a football um, club called Sheffield United, and that's the one that I support. Um, they're called the Blades. That's their nickname, like you get the Giants and the Sox and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. So I worked there for a full year. So I started in August and um, I think April came round. It was April the 25th, yeah. And I always remember it because it's Amy Lou's birthday. That's my wife's daughter. And I couldn't be there because I was at work. It was a Saturday. And um, I was then made manager of a bar, like when you pull drinks, bar, like beer bar. And um, Rob worked for an agency and we needed staff. They would ring up an agency, we'd say we need extra staff. So an agency would get the staff and bring them in. So I got given two staff and they wasn't really good with maths. And I'm not I'm not the best at maths. I can add up and that's what I calculate as far and a till. But people that wasn't good, no good to me. Because um, obviously I need a leg to stand on. So they told me that they wasn't good. So I said to my, my iron manager, I says, uh, well, can I have them two over there? I just pointed at these two lads because these two aren't good at maths. Didn't even know if these other two were. So anyway, she swapped them. And uh, it was, like, gorgeous. And I thought, ooh, he's quite nice. He's got sexy eyes. He's got love, lovely blue eyes, Rob. So, yeah. And, um, and I've always had a thing about London people, right? Because, obviously, I lived four hours away from London. And when I went to London, when I was 21, um, for my birthday, we had to do like a weekend there, like Friday till Sunday. And um, I went all the way around London and I'd not heard a Southerner. A Southerner person that talks like, all right, my love, not heard one of them. Uh, they were all tourists or whole foreign people that worked there. And I was like quite disappointed because that's what you go to London for, you know. I, I don't speak like that. It's completely different to me. So... Um, I went all the way around and I like, got this development with this fascination of a, a London accent. And this guy, as you obviously you know, Rob, he's, he's Southern. He's from down there, he's from London. And he came up here uh, in 2002 and he never went, well, he never went back down. So, yeah, and he was like hanging around and I just said oh come and work with me I started talking to him and then he started speaking to me and I was like oh can you just tell me how it so this one thing about southerners I always say there's no jam in that donut and uh he said it and he sounded proper like the guy uh, the girl 
the woman, Zach's then, who said it in the first place when I was in London. That's the first time I heard the Southerner. I went all the way around, all the way to Sunday to actually hear somebody in a market. And to me, it does sound like our programme, EastEnders, you will not know what I'm talking about in America because I don't think you get it over there. Australia do. And if you work in the East End, it's like selling fruit and veg. It's like apple and pears. All right, my love, come and get your apple and pears and all this shit. That sounded a bit like Bristol. I'm not even going to go into the accents because I'm crap. The only one I can do is like this. All right, love. Do you want some crisps? I'm from Liverpool. That's the only one I can do. So, yeah, I'm my own. I, I, I can do a Leeds accent, but I'm not going to tell you about any of that because I'm just confuse you. If you want me to do some accents, request the video. So, I started talking to him and in, he told me that he was still looking for work and I worked at the other side of the football ground uh, for the other team at Sheffield Wednesday, which is shit. And I worked there full time. And I could hire people. So I said to him, if you were looking for work on a Saturday, give me a number. Uh, so we swapped numbers anyway, put the numbers in each other's phone and sent me a text message just to make sure that I got it. And I said to him, I'll give you a ring if I need you. And I actually did need him the week after. But in between texting, uh, I mean, in between the week, I was we were texting each other like daft jokes, like you do. And... Um, I actually said he actually sent me this I sent him a joke that somebody sent to me, like a long thing. He said, press one for a kiss, press two for a snog, press three for S E X, etc. And it went all the way down to twenty one and this number eighteen it said it said at the top, if you what do you want from me? Right? And then you press the number and he takes it back to the person and number eighteen said, Anything I can get, right? So he sent back to me anything I can get. So I, straight away, because I had a radar about men, I hate men. And um, straight away I was like, uh uh, no, no, he's a tramp, I don't like him. And then I actually took my wifey to work on the last day, I think it were. Did you, what did you do? Yeah, she did. Because then we ended up going to my mum's house, yeah, um, for dinner. And he was texting me then, so she had to come to work. I think it was some kind of fundraising day or something. Something happened, and that's when I sent him a text message. They were like, oh, Fizzy's got a boyfriend. I was like, no, he's a tramp. And then uh, I started like, texting him, and I said to him, no, look, I need your help on like this certain day. Can you come in? So he said, yeah, and I started talking to him and that. We had a drink after work. And then I said, to him, I went out because it was my cousin's birthday. So that's why I hired to ask him to work because she went there. And I went out drinking. Uh, for my birth, uh, my cousin's birthday, 18th birthday, and I texted him. I texted him after that, and I said, "Oh, look, I'm having a few drinks round at mine on Saturday night. Do you fancy coming round?" So I came round on Saturday, and it just like <laughs> went from there, really. And then we got rid of him. We've been together four years on the 10th of no 9th, 10th of May, in between 9th and 10th of May, because it happened early hours in morning, so we count that as like a double anniversary. So four years has just gone. So yeah, so that's how we met, and we got engaged two years after we met in Blackpool um, on the beach. And uh, it was kind of like a, embarrassing but cheesy and good at the same time. Is I I don't like I don't like things like that. And we don't kiss in public because I don't, it's just mm, I don't know. It's me. I'm just stupid. I don't know, but yeah. But I love him to bits and I couldn't be without him. So, yeah, that's how I met Rob. Just, like, working together, really. And it, we've not been separate since. So, yeah, if you've got anything else you want to add or any requests at all, um, I can try and do it here again, Gina, if you want me to, uh, with Rob here. But it'll not be much help. He'll just agree with what I've just said. So, yeah. So, that's it. That's that one. And um, I've got no else to add to that. I don't think. Well, yeah, the married, and we're not getting married yet, by the way, because we need a lot of money. And why change some? Why fix something that's not broken? That's my motto. Um. So yeah. Anyway, I'm off men's because I'm going to try and get some sleep. I've got college again in the morning. <sighs> I hate Sundays. So yeah. Cheerio, TTFN, comment, like, subscribe, request available down below.